Oh crap! Oh, yeah, what did I, I do? <laughs> what did I do? Oh! Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are playing Titanic 2.0 again, and I am joined by Cenerix. He is one of the developers for VVG Britannic, and yeah, I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy that game when it comes out. So yeah, let's get into this video, guys. So yeah, guys, we are standing at the bottom of the Grand Staircase, and again, look at how amazing this looks. Now, I saw some comments on my last trailer video that some people think that most of these are decals, and yes, you may be right about some stuff, but most stuff is actually really 3D. Like, if you take a look at some of these pillars, they are actually 3D. Um, except these ones. A lot of people were complaining as well about some uh, issues with the game. Now, please remember the game is not completely done. So, it will get lots of updates. And even though you have certain game passes and they're not really usable at the moment, they will in the future because this game is very, very, very early in development. So... Um, there's a, a very good chance that most of this will be updated, more rooms will be added, and etc. Yeah, it definitely will. So we're just walking along the boat deck. Again, this looks really amazing, almost photorealistic, and you guys gotta remember that this is in Roblox. And kinda hard to do that in Roblox. I wanna go up here, I've never actually been up here before. Yeah, this is the way up above the smoking room. So yeah, guys, I'll give you a little tour of what we have in the ship so far, just in case you guys or one of you guys watching can't play. Um, so we're gonna start at the main grand staircase. We've got the clock, which is 3D. Yeah, the clock. Yeah, it is really 3D, guys. Um, I know from this distance it looks like a decal, but it it truly is 3D. Now, if we go down, we've got the cherub. We've got the dome just above us, and around the corner, we have B-Deck. And a lot of you may be wondering, or a lot of you don't really care about B-Deck or C-Deck, because they're not really the main parts of the ship. Oh, uh, they are mostly the same. Yeah. Until you get to D-Deck. Many people really focus on A and D-Deck because, well, they're really different, and they actually lead to something pretty amazing. Well, not here. This is just a bunch of details. Should we show them the uh, person's office and see that? Oh, yes, we should, because that is actually really, really detailed. Um, this is closed off. I think they might open it up later. I don't know. But we've got the nice little area here. We've got little pedestals at the bottom. We've got this curtain covering something that could be added. I think they plan on having all the open all you say had in 1.0 so if we go downstairs and if we take a right we are on Scotland Road and this pretty much links up the front of the ship to the back of the ship so if we keep going this way you'll see that there's an open door and this will lead down to the boiler room and uh, yeah don't be down here when the iceberg hits or else uh, you might have a little bit of a problem now if you've watched this channel enough to know you guys know what happens down here, and you know, yeah, it's kind of hard to escape. Speaking about the difficulties of escaping, let's go upstairs, up a secret passageway. All right, let's go, let's go quick. We're not going up Skeleton Road. I'm running up this ladder, which leads to an event, and oh my gosh, there it is, the iceberg. I'm going to stand on the uh, bridge wing here. At 22 knots. Yep. <laughs> It's going fast. About to hit. And we have hit. That does not sound good if I do say so myself. Now if you guys go back down to the boiler room, you'll see that, well, we have a little bit of a problem. Yeah, the entire boilers are completely flooded already and water is pouring in. So this is actually pretty bad. So we want to get up and try to find our way out of here. All right, let's head into the E-Deck staircase area. Now, as you can see, this area is unfinished along with most of the parts of the ship. Yeah. The elevators. I don't see any elevators and any of the shafts. One thing I really like about this game is the uh, D-Deck um, entrance doors because you can see right through them. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. And it's, it's, cool to, it's cool to walk through them when the ship is sinking. 
Yeah, when you're in a lifeboat, that's cool. All right, let's get up on deck. I almost forgot. I'm going to put my realistic lighting on. I'm going to put mine on, too. Yeah, because we want to experience the full effect of this game. And by getting that pass, or that um, hacks, that really like improves the color and the feel yeah, of I the game. Yeah, I recommend getting it. It is, it's, it is my favorite hacks. Oh, I can agree with that as well. One cool thing to do is to yeah. look down the well, and you can recreate that painting that Ken Marshall painted. Uh, I have also just fallen and broken all of the bones in my body. Oh my gosh. Look at this lifeboat. It's already completely filled. This guy is a very excellent uh, roleplay name. Uh, exclamation point, exclamation point, one, one, dot, dot, eight, F, F, and these two stars. <sighs> At this point, I don't, I don't even think the water is up to F deck yet. Yeah, me neither. Let's actually go check. Yeah, I don't think the water's up to F deck at all yet. Um, I'm gonna go check the boiler room. Yeah, not yet. Oh, wow. It is so dark. I can't even see most of anything down there. I'm getting a lot of risk, though. Unfortunately, you're not a crew member right now, so we can't really launch any lifeboats, so I guess we're just at the mercy of anyone else who can. One little problem I have with the game, just, just a little scaling issue, is that... I bunk my head when walking down the stairs to get to the to the well deck because of the cranes being there. Yeah, I think I think they're going to fix that in the yeah. upcoming update. Oh, I fell oh, off. Oh, oh, I just saw that. Oh, they're launching lifeboats. I gotta see this. Is there any extra seats on that thing? Nope. Yeah, that lifeboat's full. Can I even launch this one? Which deck did you go to? I'm on the boat deck on the port side, but unfortunately, this lifeboat has a jammed um, rope, so. One really cool thing about this game is that you can launch the lifeboats, like, manually. A lot of people think they're overpowered, but they're literally the same as the other games, so I don't really think they're overpowered at all. It's the same amount of lifeboats. And there's the same amount of seats. The only difference is you can manually launch them with ropes. Some people get angry that passengers can also lower the ropes. But I think, what if there's only one crew member on the game and he has to launch both ropes at once? That's going to be kind of hard to do, just saying. Oh, crap. Oh, Not what did that. I do? <laughs> what did I do? Oh, all right, this boat is all. This boat is down to B deck. Well, I mean, now it spans three decks. Let's go down and inspect um, F deck, or E deck, I guess. I'm gonna take a look down. Oh no 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 nope. Uh, take just take a look down. F deck should be. F deck should be, flooding right now. Um. I think you're correct about that. Oh, God! E-Deck is flooding. Oh, E-Deck. Yeah, yeah, E-Deck is almost completely flooded over here. Hold on, I'm gonna trudge into the water. Oh, jeez. Titanic vibes. Oh, that's a new one, guys. We got Lusitania vibes, and now we've got Titanic vibes. Soon, uh, D-Deck will be underwater. Ooh. The water is almost up to, up to D-Deck. I think we should start getting out of here because that does not look good. Maybe we can catch a boat uh, near the aft of the ship. We should be able to. Oh, yes, yes, there's boats that have been um, swung out and ready to lower, so we're good. Uh, you grab one side, I grab the other, okay? We're good. We want to get this thing off real quick so we can have an escape route. One really cool feature that I enjoy about this game is that you can actually launch and lower the lifeboats down to the A-Deck Promenade, and you can get into the lifeboat from the A-Deck Promenade. And this is something you could have done in the other version, but with this version, it's much easier because you can actually stop the launching whenever you want, or if someone else agrees with you, and you can actually board the lifeboat from that deck. And that's how it was actually supposed to be done in real life. 
And no, actually, in real life, people trying to climb out and climb into lifeboats when they were being lowered. Mm-hmm. And that wasn't just the movie, guys. That actually happened. And I believe Officer Lowe did fire, didn't he? Actually, we can board the lifeboat from yeah, the lower deck. As you can see, we're going to show an example of this. So, I don't know if this one is going to lower anymore. I'll lower it. Alright. Yeah, I'll lower it a little bit more. Okay, oh. so you see that you guys can just get into the lifeboat like this. Just from walking. Um, and this is sort of what you would see if you were boarding. You would have this gap that would go down about a foot in length, a foot or two away from the ship, and you would have to just hop over that and into the lifeboat. I see some issues happening over here. We've got a lifeboat trying to lower, and it is just kind of swinging up and down, or swinging from side to side against another lifeboat. All right, let's go back into the grand staircase, guys, and let's see what's going on in here. Let's take just a little- It looks like sea deck. Yeah, sea deck is promptly flooded. At this point, it is, um... It has taken on quite a bit of water. Yep, sea deck. As you can see, the water is starting to rush up the stairs on a B deck and quickly flood around the staircase. And this is one of the scenes in the movie. As you can see, pretty much everything is being engulfed by this water. Well, there it goes. Well, the first one has already fallen while we were in there. We've got people sliding down the deck into the davits. Ouch. What's surprising is that there's actually a lifeboat. Yeah, what's us with this boat. So yeah, we gotta get, get we gotta get these people down. You get the other side. We're not going to make it. We're not going to be able to lower this lifeboat. Yeah, the higher the ship gets, the longer it takes to lower it. I'd just say screw the lifeboat, because at this point, I don't think there's any hope for that. Yeah, by the time we get that down to the ocean, the ship <laughs> will cr be cracking out. Yeah. Wow. Just stand here and look at the lifeboat from that distance. That's how you know we're like pretty much way in the air now. I don't see hope for those people. And they, they won't be able to make that jump. Yeah, no, the, they die in the water. Maybe if they're down here, they could possibly get, because we've got a lifeboat over here. I'm gonna try to get to that lifeboat. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Let's oh, like God. All right. Wow, there it goes. All right, we gotta move. We gotta move. Run! All right, we're at the back. Unfortunately, every time I try to record a video on this, it seems to be in the 1997 sinking. But do trust me, guys, there is a 2012 sinking, and you will enjoy it. Much more accurate than this sinking, I can tell you that for sure. Congrats, we're going to die. That is very correct, lady. Another really nice feature is that you can stay on the stern. Like, see how it's rising and I'm not slipping like the other versions? That is a really nice addition. It makes it easier. I'm excited for the real-time mode that will come in the future. Oh, yes, the real-time. Look at all the lifeboats down there. Now, another feature is if you click Q on your keyboard, you ragdoll. And as you can see, I just hit a bunch of things. I'm falling through stuff. And I'm stuck in stuff. I'm stuck inside of a cargo hold. Help. Oh, jeez! Ah, what's happening? I've broken the game! Ah! <laughs> so, as you just saw there, the jet blew me out of the... The jet blast just blew me out of the cargo hold. And, uh, that actually occurred when the ship actually sank because air was building up there, and it just was so much. Um, by the way, these guys survived. This was the lifeboat that we tried to lower, by the way. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment, and I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.